We are halfway through a seven day, 400 kilometer off-road adventure in the Victorian high country. Already we've taken you on a journey of steep rutted tracks, epic campsites, and eating some kind of bug we thought was a witchetty grub. Anyways, part three starts at the top of the famous Billy Goats Bluff track, takes us along the Crooked River track, and ends at the top of the just as famous track, Blue Rag. We hope you enjoy this one. Let's get into it. Now that's a ridge. <laughs> We both just at the same time said, up behind me, up. said, now that's a ridge. This is like just a spine of a, what, what do you reckon we are? 15, 1600 meter mountain? Well, you tell me, you've got the watch. Oh, I've got the watch. 1408 meters at the moment. You're me out there, Jenny boy? Yeah, definitely, I'm just getting the shot. Wow. Oh, you are kidding me. You are joking. Look at that. That's insane. bolts incredible trail crazy Lil was in Walker's car because it was a bit more comfortable for her because it was less tippy I've gone I've done Palm Creek I mean Palm Creek was crazy I won't say that that was probably one of the biggest adrenaline rushes of my life but the telly track is nowhere near as technical or as puckering as what that track was. Oh, it's not one that you do it do by yourself. Oh. oh maybe it is 500 meters. I cannot believe that we're on the top of this mountain and there's no wind. Whoa. Wow. Oh. Like when do you ever get a a day like this. You guys struggling with the altitude? No, I'm just unfit. Oh, there's a bloke in the fire tower over here. Oh, cool. Wow. We might be able to go talk to him. Wow. How's this? It's pretty good. Pretty nice. Pretty high. Pretty high up. Um, um, how high are we right now? Look at this thing. Wow. I've not seen that. Oh, Billy Goat Bluff track. That's us. Alistair, here we are. That's the track we took just in front of us. Oh, yeah. That peak with... Right there. Isn't that Wellington? Oh, yeah. That's what that, yeah, that's the helipad and then we would have come. Oh, it is Wellington. We would have come along here, up this ridge. Up there, Ooh. along there. Don't focus on my finger, focus on that. Yeah, there, and then, <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, we are just driving along the road what? and it looks like, and I don't know if it's a dirt bike or a motorbike, or a um, normal bike. Uh, no, it's just, it's definitely a normal bike. But their whole bike. You want some push bikes? Looks like there's two. As just, fallen off the back of their caravan or their car, their car. Oh no. What like what do you do in this situation? Like do we take it out of here because I'm guessing it's fallen off the back of the car and they haven't realized. Or do you leave it here for someone to get? Oh my god, it's a specialized. I'm not, it's. Oh, they're e bikes. There's like. 20, they're e bikes. That's 
It's an e-bike, the top one, that's worth like 10 grand. Oh, I don't know. I, like, like, what do we do with that? Put on my roof. Oh my god, they I know, I just said they're e-bikes. We can't leave these, so we're going to have to take them and put them on Facebook. Yeah. Oh, I feel beautiful, so beautiful. bad for them. Yeah, so do I. We'll be able to find them. Yeah, we'll find them. Yeah. We'll go get past Dargo so we can drop it at the shop there. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Alrighty. Oh, you can put ours in. We can put your the swag on yours. Just move the swag. So someone's come through with the caravan because this is screwed to the back of the caravan. Through here. Oh, yep. Yeah, it would be. It's an e-bike. Two e-bikes. <laughs> Two e-bikes. Like mountain bike. Like one's an e-bike. Oh. oh, it's an S-Works, an Enduro. Enduro Evo S-Works, full carbon. Oh my god, no shots. Way. That's like a that's like an eight, ten grand bike, that one. And then this one's probably about the same. Oh those poor bastards. That's got a cute bell on it too. Oh, it's his and hers, so I bet Oh it's got oh it's got a is that got a, a thing seat on it? Oh no. A drop of I thought it, yeah. yeah, no, I no, I thought it had like one of those booster seats so the kids can sit on the frame. Oh. Okay. We've uh laid our swag out on top of the roof. And we're gonna strap these bikes on. Lou was trying to find these guys on Facebook and Instagram and stuff to let them know that we've got the bikes. Hopefully they're just further up ahead. I just don't want to leave them just in case because they're very expensive bikes. Oh yeah. We'll chuck them up on top of here and strap them down somehow. This is just the story of our lives. <laughs> it's just it sure this is the yeah. story of our lives. This is, this is what yep, was done. missing from, this. Our, from our trip today. <laughs> just some kind of drama. Yeah, just straps over the top. Of it. We're just calling calling the guy with the bikes now because we've got them on board, strapped on the roof. Oh hi, my name's Lily. Um, I am just venturing through the high country at the moment. Funnily enough, I came across your mountain bikes and I saw that your name was on it. I did a bit of Googling and I have then called the dental surgery that you potentially work at. Anyway, I got your phone number. So if you could give me a call back and I can try and get the bikes back to you. Um, my number is 04. Thank you, bye. I am double agent. What are you calling? What do you call that person? Secretary. No, like a, an investigator. Oh. Anyway, we've got bikes, so if we've still got your bikes. No, we watching, won't still have your bikes. And we, we'll, but if we do, and we you're won't. watching this video, he won't. we've got your bikes. We won't. He'll have his bikes by the end of the day. Oh, I bloody hope so. Ridiculous to those bikes look <laughs> just so funny. Like you can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. When you thought it was almost over, 
and then it gets even more hairy. I know. Look at this drop off. You just focus on the road, mister. I'll focus about worrying. I'll worry. I'll you will just worry. Just worry. A bit of a worry what in the car. But I mean, a bit. Fa fair enough though. This is stupid. Oh, this is a climb, I can tell you that. Wow. Yeah, we're all right. We're coming up slowly. This is scary. This is some of the most hectic driving I've ever done in my life. Well, it is. This is the most hectic driving I've ever done in my life. And I know people are going to say, you weren't even driving. But it's almost scarier having someone's, your hands in someone else's, your life in someone else's hands. you guys I actually can't even walk up here really? what, what do you reckon? I'm over it I reckon I'm over it I can't even walk up the hill I actually ca can't even walk up it it's 601 and we are over it I think we've been driving since like 10 a.m. So we've pretty, we probably stopped for half an hour, 45 minutes for lunch. Yeah, probably, yeah, 45 minutes up at that fire track. Probably 45 minutes. Yeah. And then aside from that, we've literally been driving all day. Non-stop. Non-stop, which is fine. But it's just annoying because we still have the bikes on the roof. I've obviously called the guy, but he doesn't have any reception. And now we have no reception. So I reckon it won't be until tomorrow or whenever that we'll be able to get them back to him anyway it's annoying but at least we're doing the right thing yeah and he'll be really grateful hopefully i hope so anyway we're gonna find a really nice camp by the water um we're gonna eat some carbonara which we still are yet to make yep and then just and we're gonna just have an early night yep it's been a huge day we are tired we are two tired puppies Cows. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, Terrence. Oh my god, look at this little one. Look at this little one. It's just been born. Oh, it's really little. It's honestly it looks like it's just been born. Oh, so cute. Oh, that one's fat. It's probably pregnant. Wow. Yeah, look, they've all just been born. The little freshies. They're fresh. <laughs> we made it, boys and girls. Check out the campsite. There's a river just there. River's just there. Soupy's just there. Nat's just there. Nat is in there as well. Fire. Now, this is a spot, isn't it? 
Look at the grass. And look at our push bikes. <laughs> and look at our swag. Oh, fuck. That's going to be so shit. Yeah, we'll have to shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Uh-oh. Was that Taylor? Sweet. How good's the ladder actually to get up and down here? This canopy's been so Why good. Put in one bacon. Oh, that'd be heaps. For four meals. Yeah, four meals. Do you know where the is? Uh, no, I don't. It'll be in here somewhere. It's such a mess in here at the moment because we just have been so busy in such a rush. How are you enjoying cooking on the induction? It's actually really easy. It is. It's actually really good. We might bring this thing into the van, hey? Well, it'll be cleaner. Yeah, it will be. But we usually use two pots. Sometimes we don't. Sometimes we just use one. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, we might start using this actually. I wouldn't mind getting like a we kettle. We have the electric one in there. Nah, it's not the same. Oh. Yeah, and then I can... We can boil water and stuff on well, it. Well, you'd be better off just getting in like a plug-in. Much stuff. Like, oh, you know what? It's better though because it's free. Yeah. Whereas every morning if I have to turn on the... Gas gas and I'm using gas whereas the electricity is free. That's true. Are you going to go for a swim in the water while I finish this up? Alright. I will. Clean yourself up. Does that sound I'm dirty? Yeah. How'd you sleep? Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Okay, we'll leave you to it. Cheerio. Bye. Can you guess what happened? He crashed the drone. <laughs> I was getting a really good shot. That's why I was like, it was just, I was like, I'm just gonna commit. Like, I feel like there's no tree because I didn't want to look and see. Should have looked. Should have bloody looked. Another day, another drone crash. Yep. Walker's just decided to drive up the river. I think that's the track over there, mate. Just there. Here he comes. Maybe just drive up straight through it, I reckon. 
Should be good. Okay, you're probably near the diff lock. Do I just press that button? Yeah, just push the diff lock button and then when it comes up on the screen, it'll be in. You can only push it once though, because if you push it out, then it'll probably go out and then in. It's on there. Then it's in. On the bikes. You're right. They just fell off. Down to our last two river crossings of the track. Come down, brother. Come down. You're good. Oh, you don't need dip lock. <laughs> Soup kitchen. <laughs> Looks like this. From what I've noticed, it looks like it's a lot harder to go that way than it is this way. But that's quite the drop there. Oi. Hope Lil goes all right with this. It'll be fine. Oh, I should have got the uh, UHF out. Yeah, you're good. Look how flat that tire is. Oh. Wee. That was good, well done. I de probably should have spotted her then. <laughs> I think she went down the hardest way possible. <laughs> I don't know if my spotting helped then or not, but that was great. <laughs> oh, I'm sad this is the last river crossing of this track. Oh well, there's always more. There's so many tracks up here in the Vic High Country. Like, I think like these ones are just more the famous ones that we've done, but they're just everywhere. Hey. Oh. Hello.
Alrighty, we have just made it to the top of Blue Rag Range and it is a little bit windy but freaking stunning. It makes up for it in stunningness. So I'm sorry if this is a little bit windy for you. But look at that. Look at this. What? Are you joking me? Are you actually joking me right now? They're just moving the bikes because <laughs> Obviously, they are the least photogenic things on the planet. So, Ash and Nat drove it for a bit so we could take photos of our car. And then now we're trading so we can, they can take photos of their car. But 